Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here with uh, my 60th unboxing, I believe. I think it might be the 61st, 62nd, but let's just say the 60th and get on with the show. This shit from barbershopwindow.com from Norwalk, Connecticut, all the way to South Bend, Indiana. Barbershopwindow.com is uh, the site that has, I think, exclusively indie wrestling shirts and pro wrestling puns. Like, barbershopwindow.com, I mean, it's from when Brutus the Barber Beefcake, uh, he had a show called The, the Barbershop. Anyway, it was, it was a talk show in, back in WWF, and it's a reference to when Shawn Michaels super kicked Marty Jannetty, who was his then tag team partner in The Rockers. Uh, so, I don't know, it's a reference to that, and they have a lot of funny shirts, like, uh, it says, uh, Heenan and Monsoon, 2012, as in, uh, political rhetoric. I guess I'm not probably selling it that well, but you get the idea. They also had a Daniel O'Brien Yes, Yes, Yes shirt before it was on NW.com. This shirt... First, barbershopwindow.com, little piece of paper. It says, take care of your t-shirt, wash inside out, use cold water, wash with light colors. It's got a little photo of a hot chick. This is a reference to Seamus shirt, Too Many Limes, like his theme song is Too Many Times. Million Dollar Band Ted DiBiase shirt with a hot chick on it. This is a super duper rare, they only sold it for one week. This is a, a memoriam shirt of Sweet and Sour Larry Sweeney, a.k.a. Alex Wybrow, a.k.a. German Gimmick and Chikara. Anyway, famous for uh, going all over the country, all over the world, wrestling his, his butt off. One of the best guys, you know, he wasn't the biggest guy ever, but this guy could talk on the mic and he could wrestle in the ring. And, uh, you know, he, it was a one-year anniversary of him passing a couple weeks ago, and barbershopwindow.com had a special going. This is uh, pretty close to his regular shirt that he always used to show at shows, uh, except it didn't have, you know, his silhouette here, didn't have the date when he was born to when he died, just had suit and sour and had the sunglasses. But uh, it's a pretty awesome shirt, nothing on the back. But uh, the one really cool thing is that uh, he was bipolar, manic depressive, and you know, uh, all pr originally, it was, I think it was 15% of the proceeds were going to go to Threshold.org, which is a Chicago-based uh, uh, center for people with bipolar disorder. Well, then they changed it like two days later. 100% of the profits went to Threshold.org. I believe that's it. Thresholds. Just Google it, thresholds.org. So, 25 bucks. I got this shirt. Uh, pretty excited about it. I will be wearing this and wearing it and wearing it and wearing it. Uh, you know, 24 inch. Or he, his gimmick was uh, instead of 24 inch pythons, he'd do 12 large brother. Uh, you may know him from back when Randy Orton was feuding with Hulk Hogan. Uh, I want to say it was in 07. They, uh, Randy Orton did on Monday Night Raw did Orton Knows Best, and he played Nick Hogan. I want to be a wrestler just like my old man, or just like my dad. You get the idea. Uh, definitely would recommend uh, getting a shirt if you can, but I guarantee you probably won't because it was a one-week sale, and I think they sold out. But uh, I'm going to end it there and uh, say... Have a great day. Sweet and sour Larry Sweeney, living forever.